sorry, what are they saying here? And here is the station. Right, so if you have read and understood, kindly begin your history taking. Okay. Yes. All right. Hello, ma'am. My name is Dr. Rosa. May I confirm your name okay. and age, please? My name is Sarah, 66 years old. Good. Okay. Uh, so I will be uh, your doctor today. Uh, may I know okay. uh, a few questions regarding the problem that you're facing? So doctor, I've been having this uh, mass in front of my neck um, since 10 years ago. But for the last few months, it's now growing and then it's causing me um, difficulties. And I've been losing weight as well. All right. So, see, so when did you, you know this? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, uh, may I ask you when? Uh, when did you notice this for the first time? Um, that was ten years ago. That was ten years ago. And yes. how do you uh, think? Has this like lump in the neck? Has it like you know changed over the period of time? Doctor, it was fine at first, but then uh, for the last two months, it's been growing like really fast. Okay. And do you think, uh, is there anything that is actually like, you know, uh, increasing the severity of your symptoms? Yes, doctor. Now I've been having difficulty swallowing solid foods. Um, and also my voice has changed as well. And I've also lost weight. All right. And if I may ask you, what are the aggravating and the relieving factors that you have Doctor, with the problem? Is, oh, you simply what is what is that? What makes it worse and what <laughs> yeah. makes okay. it better? <laughs> yes. So what um, is worsening your problems? Doctor, so um, I just have um, difficulty swallowing solid things. That's what I have. Okay. Yes. Um, and this difficulty is for solids or is it for liquids or is it for both of these? Like I said before, it's just for solids. All right. And any, uh, if you remember, do you remember how, uh, like, you know, vomiting any, uh, Blood or any blood stained vomit is in the in the recent past. No, doctor. Okay. Uh, mm. Do you have any history of uh, smoking? No, doctor. Or do you have any history of uh, usage of alcohol? No, doctor. And if uh, if you remember, was there any uh, history of cancer in your family? No history. All right. And any, uh, have you experienced any weight loss? Or if you have experienced that your the clothes that you normally wear have gone loose on you? Yes, doctor, I've lost about four pounds since the last six weeks. Okay. Ask if she has any breathing difficulty or not, just to rule out compression. 
I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, ask if she has any uh, experienced any breathing difficulty, just to rule out no. comp compression. Yes. Have you, have you experienced the, yeah. problem with breathing? Any I, breathing become difficult no, for you? No, no, there is no difficulty breathing, but I've been irritable. Yes, good. Ask about the heat and cold intolerance. And mm -hmm. any? Yeah. Yes. Have you experienced that the, the extreme temperatures have become too harsh on you? Like uh, extreme cold, or have you been experiencing extremely cold or extremely like? Hot. I've been feeling extremely hot, very, very hot lately. Okay. So, uh, may I ask you, like, uh, what what do you think could be the probable reason behind this problem that you have? Doctor, I think I have a thyroid problem, but I don't know if it's cancer or not. So that's what I want to confirm. Okay. And uh, what is uh, like? What is the most uh, like? Uh, like how do you expect? You, you have, you have how do you expect? Good. Hmm? I didn't get that. Um, Hello. How do you expect us as doctors to help you here? Doctor. I've not been swallowing solid foods and I've been losing weight and I'm really irritable. So I want you to um, uh, find out what is wrong with me. If I need any treatment as early as possible, and then I get that. Yes, we can thank. We can say, okay, I'll get back to you. And now Bell went, and can you please summarize the history to me? Can you please summarize the case? So, right, so uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, so my patient is a 66-year-old lady. Yes. Who has presented to us with a complaint of uh, in the neck for the past 10 years, but yes. now she has seen that the swelling has been growing rapidly for the last two months yes and now causing problem with swallowing of solids yes. other than this she reports that she has experienced a weight loss of approximately four pounds in the last uh, six weeks yes the patient has noticed changes in her voice yes and feels very irritable and uh, so, has gone intolerant towards uh, towards heat Yes, so according to you, what is the differential diagnosis? So, uh, in this case, uh, this could be uh, a th uh, this could be a uh, multinodular goiter or yes, multinodular um, goiter. This could be a carcinoma thyroid. Good. Or? Uh, this uh, Thyroiditis or? Now this could be thyroiditis. Okay. Yes. So what should be the management for this patient? Mm. Yes, uh, your, this is history taking. Then you'll do the complete examination. Then have you heard of a triple assessment? Yes. Yes, what that is, please. So in uh, triple assessment, uh, we do a CT scan of uh, imaging. Imaging, yes. Okay. And we do, do imaging. We do, yes. We do a biopsy or yes. FNAC. Yes. There could and, even uh, be other do, investigations like radioisotope scan. And et yes. And you're going to do some blood workup, for example, like yes. uh, uh, pre. Uh, uh, TSH, T3, T4, thyroid antibodies. Yes. And, and then I what suppose. should be the management, the treatment? So, uh, so how would you answer here after doing the thorough, yes, history taking examination, then discussing in the MDT? 
then depending upon the cause your management mm -hmm. or your treatment should be since patient is experiencing compression symptoms so most likely thyroidectomy right yeah depending upon uh, what comes out in your biopsy or if anything so yes and then uh, yeah next question could be because patient is even experiencing voice change and all that so yeah and then there could even be lifetime thyroxine yeah right yes yes good so once you'll uh, practice and it will become like it will become more easier for you because there are certain things that you have to repeatedly say once you hear the condition patient is saying a problem then you can say oh i'm really sorry to hear that and once you are asking the questions then that also according to the response that you receive you have to show empathy connection and um, answer accordingly yes and uh, whatever the station is you have to rule out what whatever might be the cause and uh, to rule out the severity yes right thank you so much